Hi everyone, Charles here for MLE Papers, first paper of 2024. So for the new joiners, I'm a PhD student in machine learning, and on this channel, I share with you my take on the most recent and the most inspiring research papers that I come across in my research life in a hopefully nice and approachable way. And today, we are going to explore one of my favorite topics in machine learning, and also my PhD research topic, the multi-arm bandit problem. So in particular, we are going to solve a conjecture on so-called best of both worlds algorithms. Today's paper is titled, Follow the Perturbed Leader Achieves Best of Both Worlds for Bandit Problems. It has been written by Junya Honda, Shinji Ito and Taira Tsuchiya, and was published last year, 2023, at the prestigious conference Algorithmic Learning Theory. In this video, I'll first introduce some quick background on the multi-arm bandit problem and best of both worlds, which is relevant for today's topic. Next, I will present a conjecture solved by today's paper, and finally, I'll give some intuition behind it. Let's jump in. So let's start with some quick background on bandits. In the stochastic bandit problem, there are k arms denoted by 1, 2 to k, each associated to a probability distribution f1, f2, fk. The arm distributions fj are bounded in 0, 1, and have expectations mu1, mu2, mu k. The arm distributions f1, f2, fk, as well as their expectations mu1, mu2, mu k, are unknown to us. The stochastic bandit procedure is the following. At every time step t equal to 1, 2, until a very large integer capital T called the horizon, you will select one arm it in 1 to k, and then receive a reward which is a sample rtit drawn from the chosen arm distribution fit. The objective is to find an arm selection strategy i1, i2, i capital T, which maximizes the expectation of a sum of the rewards called the expected cumulative reward. Equivalently, the IT should minimize the expected cumulative regret, defined as the max of the mu j times capital T minus the expected cumulative reward. Essentially, we want to select as often as possible the arm which has the largest expectation mu j. However, the arm distributions fj and their expectation mu j are unknown, so at every time step t, the only information we have on the arms are the rewards that we have collected before t. Our arm selection strategy IT should therefore balance two important factors. First, we should collect information on the arms by selecting each of them frequently. This is called the exploration. And second, we should select more frequently the arm which yields the highest rewards in order to minimize the expected cumulative regret. And this is called the exploitation. This phenomenon is called the exploration-exploitation dilemma. The stochastic bandit problem is a major field of study within machine learning, and we know that the best possible regret is of the order of log t. A famous variant of this problem is the adversarial bandit problem. In that setting, the rewards are no longer generated from probability distributions, but instead, an adversary has secretly set all the rewards rtj of all the arms j at all the rounds t before the procedure starts. The objective is to minimize the regret compared to the best arm. In this setting, the rewards rtj are deterministic. Therefore, the expectation only applies to your arm selection strategy it, which may be random. For sure, the adversarial setting is less advantageous for us than the stochastic setting, because the rewards can be anything. In the adversarial setting, the best possible regret is of the order of square root of t instead of a more advantageous log t for the stochastic setting. A natural question then arises, is there a strategy which achieves both optimal regret bounds simultaneously? Precisely, is there a strategy which achieves a log t regret in the stochastic setting and a square root of t regret in the adversarial setting? The answer is yes, and such strategies are called best of both worlds. One famous example is a strategy called Tsalis INF, which we'll mention again later in the video. The strength of a best of both worlds strategy is that it achieves the best possible regret when the rewards are stochastic, and at the same time, if the rewards are not stochastic, it still guarantees that the regret compared to the best arm will not exceed square root of t. Today's paper will give another best of both worlds algorithm. Before we get into the core of the paper, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps the channel. Thank you. Let's jump into the paper. So today's paper studies the strategy called Follow the Perturbed Leader, 
or FTPL for short. At every time step T, we select the arm J, which has the largest reward estimate R hat TJ plus a small random perturbation Xi TJ scaled by square root of T. Now let's break down the terms in the arg maximum. R hat TJ is an estimator of mu J, the expectation of arm J. At each time step T, the arm J with the largest estimate R hat TJ is called the leader. And the strategy which selects the leader is called follow the leader. However, follow the leader does not satisfy the exploration exploitation dilemma because it purely exploits without exploring and its regret can be very large. Therefore, we need to add an exploration component to the reward estimate. For that reason, we add a little perturbation Xi of Tj and we no longer follow the leader, but we now follow the perturbed leader. Now a crucial question is, what should the perturbation be? In other words, what perturbation makes FTPL best of both worlds? Previously, researchers have conjectured that if the perturbation follows a Fréchet distribution, it looks like this, then FTPL is best of both worlds. To this paper, solve this conjecture. The main result of this paper is that if the perturbation follows a Fréchet distribution, then FTPL is a best of both worlds strategy. In other words, FTPL with Fréchet perturbations achieve the log T regret in the stochastic bandit setting and the square root of T regret in the adversarial bandit setting. Now, why you fresh a distribution and not something else? This is not really included in the paper, but since the choice of the fresh distribution is the main topic of this paper, I think it may be interesting to give the intuition behind it. The answer is in the theory of extreme values. So given a sequence of IID random variables x1, x2, xn, the theory of extreme values is interested in the distribution of a maximum of x1, x2, xn. There are many applications for this, especially in finance and earth sciences. For example, say you want to evaluate the risk of a tsunami in a certain geographical area. Now consider n waves of heights x1, x2, xn generated from a distribution p. If there is a tsunami at all, it will be the highest wave with height maximum of x1, x2, xn. Therefore, studying the distribution of this maximum will give us various information about that tsunami. For example, the risk that there is a wave taller than 2 meters, or the risk that there is a mega tsunami whose height exceeds 30 meters. The most celebrated result in extreme value theory is that if there exists some sequences AN and BN, such that the maximum of x1, x2, xn minus BN divided by AN converges to a non-degenerate probability distribution G, then G can only be one of those three types of distributions, either Frechet, or a Weibull, or a Gumbel. If G is a Fréchet distribution, then the distribution P of our observations x1, x2, xn is said to be a Fréchet type. Same for Weibull and Gumbel. What previous research actually conjectured is that if the distribution of the perturbation Xi of Tj is a Fréchet type, then FTPL is best of both worlds. For the intuition, I'll give you a short answer. No, actually, it's not so short, but it's not so long either. So let's focus on the case of k is equal to two arms. Remember, I said in the introduction that we already know a best of both worlds strategy called Sally Cyan F. Well, Sally Cyan F is a followed regularized leader strategy, FTRL for short, and not FTPL. At each time step t, an FTRL strategy selects arm 1 with probability wt and arm 2 with probability 1 minus wt, where the probability wt maximizes the same program as in FTPL, except for one thing. The random perturbation is replaced by a deterministic regularization term, R of WT. Previous research has shown that an FTRL strategy is equivalent to an FTPL strategy, whose perturbations Xi of Tj have cumulative distribution function F, satisfying the inverse of F in 1 minus W is equal to the derivative of R in W. Now, if you take the regularization term of Tsali sin f, is this, then after some computation detailed in mlnewpapers.com, this gives a Fréchet type perturbation. Now, the perturbation could be any Fréchet type distribution. That includes Pareto distributions, Fréchet distributions, or more. The choice of Fréchet distribution is for ease of proof, but it is already very technical and groundbreaking because this is the first paper which proved that an FTPL algorithm is best of both worlds. For all the papers that I cover on this channel, I post an article on my blog, mlnewpapers.com. Among others, 
I have given more details on why Salicyanf is equivalent to a fresh type FTPL strategy, and I have put a link to the amazing paper that we have explored today. If you're interested, make sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the description down below. Now that's it for today's paper. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the next video. I'll upload new content every week, so stay tuned. Thanks again so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.